All right, here she is, big time feel. No surprise there, the UFC Hall of Famer and former women's bantamweight champion, the great rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is a box office hit. Every time her name sits atop the marquee, the stars come out. Yes. From her UFC debut with the quick submissions to Jean LaBelle standing next to the octagon with the timer. Everything was always a spectacle, and Ronda had the skills to back it up. I remember being at weddings and bar mitzvahs back in 2011, getting texts from guys like Sean Shelby. Dude, you got to see what Ronda Rousey just did. And it didn't take her long to enter the mainstream, successfully defended the title several times. Ronda Rousey back and perhaps with a point to prove here tonight. Ronda Rousey has graced the octagon. This time, she'd like to leave with the goal. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her wake tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. Our tale of the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending. Undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Macy the Future Barber! Referee Herb Green Dean fight. will handle the action Green. in the octagon. Well, this is one of the best first round fighters in UFC history. The former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Ronda Rousey, Nine career wins by armbar. Eight of those have come in round number one. So you can expect Rousey to go to that patented takedown early. We'll see if she can get yet another dominant submission tonight. Big right hook there by the champ. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time that she enters. She got that kick on. Man, these women not wasting any time and both realizing a lot of success offensively early. It's a great fight. It looks like it belongs in the video game. Just misses. 
Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively she has done an outstanding job of that. She could not do it any better up to this point. She lands the straight punch here. Nice crack there. There, she is picking her apart on the field. Picking her apart. Oh my goodness, this is very difficult to watch. Man. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have been the fight. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two? Oh, she's been setting up that weapon all night. She did not miss that. She's been looking for it and surprised the guy. And now she's gonna see if she can close the night. Nice pass. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, she's got the Kimura locked in. Nice transition between Kimura and Armbar. Not out of harm's way with that arm yet. Look for her to get pressure on that elbow. All right, so she bails on the submission, favoring the position. Your thoughts on that? John, she had it pretty tight, but she recognized she was going to lose it. So she kept the dominant position. I think that was very smart. Uh, round two straight ahead. All right, there's the end of the round. Multiple knockdowns for her in that round, and they may want to ask her opponent what day it is. It's Saturday. I'm not sure if she knows it. She does not know it at this point. But, I mean, it's the ability to find the perfect shot by this young lady. It's no rush. It's no force. She's always doing things the correct way, but she's just landing exactly where she needs to land to put herself in the position that she finds herself in right now. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. Fight. That's exactly Ready. what they did. And Ready. they both found success over the course of that round. All right, second round underway. <laughs> Rousey gets caught by the straight punch. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. And just misses with that big right hand. She's got the single call. Rousey's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. She nearly got her out of there with the knockdown in the previous round, and her confidence remains high here, and she's building on that momentum. She's building on the momentum that she gained. Oh, oh my goodness, she hurt her again. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. Oh, she's going for a submission attempt now. Oh, that one's getting tight. Oh, looks back to me. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. All right, full guard now, DC. And just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger. Oh,
Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that one. Yeah, well, you, are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset. Because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Rousey's in half guard. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you... Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Ten minutes oh. in the can. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC, chief among it, the big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go, and then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice one, man. Got the champ, yeah. Oh, she continues to punish the body yet again here, just as she did in the previous round. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Ronda Rousey. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, lands a nice straight. Oh, she looked at her and lands the dive punch to the head. Oh, big shots raining down. Man, how about her IQ to continue to target that cut? And now it's bleeding back. Fight back! Fight back! All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the grounded pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to get their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard. Oh, she's officially wobbled now. She's got her back. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Well, Rousey's has got full mount Fight now. Back. Fight back. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. Beautiful block. What a turn of events here inside this arena. An absolutely crazy flush knockout, and there's going to be no wiping that smile off her face tonight. She's going to be smiling all the way to the bank after a knockout like that. What a performance. What a knockout. Unbelievable. All right, Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Macy, the future. All right, so we congratulate the still UFC Bantamweight champion, and it was the...